alrighty. So, today, I just feel like talking to my camera. So, we shall see what comes out of my mouth. Who knows what's gonna happen. But I do know that I want to talk about The Vampire Diaries. So, if you guys are not, like, caught up to the most recent episode of The Vampire Diaries, then stop this here because I have no idea what I'm gonna be talking about and I don't want to give anything away for you guys. So, just stop this video here because I might mention some spoilers. But... Oh my gosh, did you guys see the previews for next week? Hello, what is going on? Um, Catherine and Stefan, it looks like something is going on there. But I would actually be very happy about that because I want Damon and Elena to happen. When, the, when I first started watching the show, which wasn't too long ago because I just recently became obsessed, um, I was totally team Stefan. I was all for Elena and Stefan. And Damon was a funny character, but I was like, no, you are not right for Elena, stay away, blah, blah, blah. And then, I don't know, he just kind of grew on me, and Stefan just became, like, very broody, and it's like, okay, enough already. And I feel like Damon and Elena are just so much better together, and when he professed his love to her, I was just like, oh! <laughs> it just crushed my little heart. But, ah. Uh, I really hope something happens with them. I feel like they have to make something happen because I feel like so many people will be upset if nothing happens between those two. I feel like they just have such great chemistry. And plus, Damon, well, I think Damon is cuter than Stefan, but if you if I had to choose the cutest guy off of the Vampire Diaries, I would have to say it wouldn't be like Stefan or Damon, it would be Jeremy. Or, what is that guy's name? The guy that turns into a werewolf. I don't know why I always forget his name, but you guys can tell me down below in the comments. I always forget his name. I think he's cute, I think Matt's cute, and I think Jeremy's cute. Jeremy just came out of nowhere. Jeremy in the first season was kind of like this little background character, and he was just like Elena's annoying little brother who had like emotional problems, and everybody was just kind of like babysitting him almost. And then all of a sudden, second season, hello, Jeremy, when did you grow up? Oh my gosh, so cute. But, yeah, there's lots of cute guys on that show. But there is also a very good storyline. Now, the reason why I was so opposed to watching The Vampire Diaries um, before was because I thought it was going to be just some sappy, stupid show with no storyline, and it was just going to be, like, two guys fighting over one girl, which it kind of is, but that's not the whole storyline. There really is, like, a legitimate mystery behind things, and the show keeps you wanting more. And I was just such a huge Buffy fan, I felt like nothing could ever compare, but I feel like this has kind of filled the gap ever since Buffy left TV. Nothing has ever really filled that void in my heart. Oh, and another thing. A lot of you guys have been asking where Lola is. If you don't know who Lola is, she is my leopard gecko. And um, in my older videos, I have a tank back there in the background, but right now I have my candle and my little Christmas tree there. Um, it's winter time, so I just moved Lola into another room so I could plug in her lamp and have a lamp on her. Because when I plug in the lamp here, you could see the cord going across the wall and it just bugged me when I would see it in the background of my videos. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Lola just so you guys can see her and get a little update even though she's probably sleeping. So I'm just warning you guys in advance, it's probably not gonna be very interesting. Okay, so here is where Lola is now. Like I said, she is probably sleeping in there. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna open this up. So I will lift up her little home here. She's probably not going to be too happy with me because she tends to sleep during the day. So there she is. Yeah, she was sleeping. That is Lola, everybody. If you have not seen her before, that is what is in my terrarium. So she is a leopard gecko, and she's really pretty. Her colors aren't showing up right now because the light is kind of not so great. She's like blue, purple, pink, and yellow. She's really, really pretty. And I got her at a reptile convention last summer or last fall. I can't remember. I've had her for over a year now. So she is just over a year because I got her when she was maybe a couple months old. And she cost about $19. So she was a total steal. You do not get geckos 
that are colored like this for $20 usually. Like the other ones that I saw at the reptile convention were, what, like $40 to $50, but I got her for $19, so that was pretty cool, and I love her. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I feel so much better now that I got all that Vampire Diaries stuff off of my chest. <gasps> Cannot wait for next week. So yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye.